Hello and welcome to the next chapter of Lee's Logbook. I am Lee and this is Golf Story. On the last episode, oh, I have a friend online. Get, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Um, on the last episode, uh, we were trying to solve this werewolf murder mystery and we are going to continue uh, doing just that. Um, but I, I must admit I have not played in a little bit. So, get at the bottom of drones, disappearance, we can leave. Yes, got it. Time's come to challenge Lucky for my freedom. Okay. Um, all right, what was the last thing we were doing? How did you find that clue so quickly? I paid attention to people. Why don't you try doing the same? Paid attention? That wasn't a riddle. Okay, so, did we have... All right, so we, we, what do we have on us right now? Items, items. Right, okay. We needed to find the other golf balls. The green golf ball was definitely one, and we don't have that one. Um, uh, man, okay. Nothing. But why? Why should you leave it alone? We must search everywhere. Everything. Um. All right. So. Going back to searching. We're gonna. We're gonna see if I can't. Remember. Okay. Cause I already. Yeah. I think I already got that one. Cause that's how I got the book. Um. <laughs> take your time. Um. Should have brought my clubs. Um, I'm not stopping just because everybody left. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to listen to this conversation again, see if I can get anything out of them. What did the werewolf look like, Hilda? It were quite dark, but he were like a big cat. But he stood on his hind legs, so he weren't a cat. Yeah, okay, great. Um, Let's maybe hide in here. Who put Doris on guard duty? She always goes to bed early. Just give her a chamomile soda, a good book, and some dinner. Luckily, I hid her book on top of the bookshelf, so she won't get away with it tonight. Oh, right. Okay, so that's how I learned about that. Um. Back in my day, a man would have owned up to being a werewolf. There was no need for any of this investigation, God's wallop. Well... I think the last thing that I did was actually put the bottle back. But I actually don't know what that did for me. At all. Actually, I... <laughs> I'm trying to re rediscover what I was doing. I apologize. A diamond in the rough, most assuredly. It wasn't much to start with, but I just didn't have the heart to say no. Knew I'd have to drag the talent out of him if it was there. You've got a heart of gold. All right, well, other than these two being rude and talking about me, or at least it sounds like they're talking about me, maybe they're not. Maybe they're talking about someone else. All right, yes, it's locked. I, I know this. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. I can no longer inspect this. That bottle must have done something. Let's see, what are they saying? Where is the red ball? I've got it tucked away in my pocket so nobody else can use it, or I did yesterday, or the day before that. I certainly had it just before laundry. Okay, right. So that's, we're out of chamomile soda, okay. So hold on, let's, let's retrace our steps here, because we went to the laundry room and we found the red ball. Um, and then that is where, and we have the yellow ball because we've already done this one. So, all right, I'm going to leave, leave that guy to his deep thought. Um, anything here? 
No, okay. All right, still no green ball, and I think there's another one that I have not found either. I was pretty sure that I checked, like, everywhere last episode, or at least everywhere I could, because I remember I found, yeah, I found the blue one, because that was to... Hope everybody's pleased with their dinner. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, can I open, like, one of these drawers, maybe? Is there anything? I'm just trying to... Trying to find things? No, okay. All right, all right. So there's nothing in this kitchen. There's nothing in here, right? No. You think I had something to do with this, don't you? No, Lucky, I don't think you have anything actually oh no that weird glitch thing is happening again okay all right so hold on let's listen to what this guy was saying again what were you saying sir well this sort of always locked where did i leave my spare key i know i hid in a pot plant but which one was it again all oh, right okay but we already got into the spa so that's no longer important what is important however is what I'm supposed to do. Because if I try to leave... If I try to leave, I can. Okay. Alright, good. Then we can get to the bottom of this. Ho oh! ho ho! Stop resisting! We know what you are! Ouch! You bit me! Good, so our plan is working. Actually, that was me, sorry. Excuse me? What's going on here? Behold, our ultimate weapon. Uh, right, a bearded man. Of course, people will be intimidated by his manliness. He's obviously a werewolf. Oh, right, of course. Forgive me, it's dark. I couldn't see the snout. But now I see it even in the dark. The outline is there. He's not in his werewolf form at the moment. When the time comes, you will do our bidding. I see. Of course. Uh, sir, how do you feel about this, sir? Ted guilty, perhaps? Uh, actually, I'm just a bearded man. Mr. Intrigue, what lies? Be quiet. Your gruff voice betrays your calm demeanor. If you aren't a werewolf, then explain your glowing red eyes. Those are just my neon golf balls. I was at a dark golf course recently. Neon golf balls, you say? I'd better take a look at those. Be my guest. Wow. I'd better check if they're real to make sure your story adds up. Oh, what am I doing here? Okay. <laughs> hey, we're back to golfing, guys. <laughs> um. Ooh. I actually don't like the fact the wind is so strong. Uh-oh. No! Ah, of course this would happen. Of course! No, no, stop. Okay. Alright, alright. How's that? Much closer. Um... Am I supposed to hit other areas, or is it just this area? It seems to just be that area, so I'm just going to continue trying to hit that one area. Because I am under the impression that that is what they want me to do. Um... Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, nice! Okay, okay, cool. Um, let's try, let's try this. How's that? Oh, it's so close, but I succeeded. And that is all that matters in the end, I suppose. 30 bucks, that's a lot of EXP. It all adds up. This man is innocent. Mr. Intrigue knew it! It can't be true! 
Impossible. The werewolf is real. But, but if the werewolf is over there, that would mean... I told you I was just a bearded man. But now I'm thinking about shaving it. So if the werewolf is real, that probably clears Lucky's name. Being as his minions don't seem to be involved in the plot. There is no plot! Let's just round up all the bearded people until we find our werewolf. It's getting cold out here. I think I'll head back inside. Wait, we aren't finished yet. Maybe the werewolf went inside. I owe you one. Here, I pinched this from one of them in the scuffle. Nice! Alright, so we just saw a werewolf, but we got a green ball out of it. Um, so werewolves are real, apparently. Um, alright, so wait, where did we need... Where was the green ball needed? That's red. Ah! Is the green ball needed in here? Yes, it was, okay. Oh, this is... This is gonna be interesting, because I actually... Huh. What's the best kind of... Maybe... Hit it full speed into there? Yeah! First try! <gasps> Ooh, okay. Wait, wait. Are you... Gag Shanka. Jerome? Is, is that you? That's me. What are you doing in here? Everybody has been looking for you. Mmm. It were a while ago now. Oh, that's right. I came to see Barney for a talk. He wasn't there, so I had a little butt in his office. Then somehow I ended up in here. What's all this st stuff he's got in here? Wait a minute. These are new clubs! This is contraband! Yes, I suppose so. I'm not seeing any improvements with it. I don't know how folks can use this stuff. I wonder if this is why I was locked in the bag room. Best we don't tell anybody about this. Nobody needs to know Barney's dark secret. No problem. Come on, let's... Wait a minute! There was a werewolf. Oh, yes. Let me tell you about that. What? What? I've gotten to the bottom of the werewolf mystery. It turns out Jerome's dog, Rudy, was the werewolf this whole time. He ate a yellow pumpkin and something turned him. What have you done to Rudy? He's... naked! What? You're looking better now, Rudy. But where did you find Jerome? There's no need to speak of such matters. The important thing is that Jerome and the dog are safe. Of course. A gentleman never reveals too much. I'd like to thank you for finding me. If there's anything I... I'd just like to join you guys for a round of golf. I'll have to talk it over with the boys. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! What should I do next? I think you're almost in. Just continue to cultivate your friendship with the old boys. And what will you be doing? I'm going to wait for you to tell me that everything worked out. I don't want to take too direct an approach in your training. Fair enough. What's happening? Alright. So I guess we're done with the murder mystery. Uh, but now we gotta cultivate the relationship with the old boys. Um, so now the question is, where are the old boys? Where do boys go? Ooh, there's one of them. How are you liking that modern equipment? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Would you mind taking something to the back room for me? I'm busy! Ooh, we know your dark secret. Um, but I'm not gonna go in the back room, because I get locked in there, apparently. Okay, so... Now... What's my next game here? Befriend Jerome and the boys, bring me the Tidy Park rulebook. 
Okay. So. There's Jerome, Jerome and the boys. Morning, young fella. So, how about that round? I only golf with good friends, but I do have a debt to repay, so I'll meet you in the middle. I'll accompany you on your round and give you some pointers. I've got a lot of local knowledge. Uh, let me know when you're ready to head out. Ready to head out? Yes. Yes, we are. We are ready. Tidy Park! Alright. So we actually play Tidy Park now. Let's do it. Let's play this, this course that we've played. We usually play putters only on this hole to warm up. What? Do I have to also play putters only? Because I don't really feel like playing putters only, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. <laughs> um, although I do remember that the bounce is awful on this course. How's that? Oh! Darn it. All right, that's fine. Um, maybe I can actually put this. I don't know. If I, like, almost full force put? Dang it! I should have just full force putted! Ah. It, all right. Are you kidding? Oh, no. Wait, what? Puddle wedge? That's, that is the very opposite of how I wanted to begin. The very, very opposite. <laughs> a six is a good score on this hole. A six. It's par four, and a six is a good score. Fair enough, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna judge. Huddle? Okay. Um, and that's why we have the Puddle Wedge. I now understand why it's called the Puddle Wedge. I didn't understand why it was called the Puddle Wedge. Apparently hits good out of a puddle. And puddles are everywhere in this place. No, we're gonna... Yeah. We're gonna do this here. And... Bam! <laughs> That's a chip in birdie right there. <laughs> okay, cool. That evens out our score, which makes me feel a little more comfortable. Um, but I mean, I've, do I have to follow his advice? I don't know if I should be following his advice. I'm just going to play. I'm just going to play. Play this along the path. No need to try to take the water on. All right. Ooh, ooh boy. Okay. Um, I'll play this along the path, like he said. You know, no need to take the water on. He's right. Why should we take the water on, right? Water's bad. Ugh. And then I land in a bunker. Uh, that's fine, though. Um. Oh. <laughs> I just did what he told me not to do. I mean, I sort of followed the path. I didn't follow the path. Um, but... Listen, that's fine. Um... Oh, no. Alright. Where's the... Where's it going? It's gonna bounce. It's gonna bounce away, but that's fine. I could putt that. I'm pretty sure I could putt this. Um... I'm gonna putt it. Um... Antique putter, part five, and this is our fourth. Let's go for that. That's what I'm talking about. That's a second chip in. Birdie, we're at minus one. We are at minus one. Okay. All right. Not playing too poorly. Um, I mean, that first hole was a little shaky, but, I, you know, I, I misjudged putting on the rough. Um, we're just going to hit this ball away. He didn't even give us advice, so I'm going to just, I'm gonna just play the game. I'm just, just go and play. Go, just go and play the game. Um, oh, wow. 
Already? Um... Alright, I'm gonna... Hit the puddle wedge as direct as possible. I know I'm gonna be bouncing a little... <gasps> oh! That is an accidental chip in Eagle right there, which is a minus two, putting us at minus three. Which is pretty exciting, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that shot. Hole five. Okay. The green is a little overgrown on this hole. That's true. That is... That is definitely an overgrown green. Um... I, I think I almost want to aim for fairway here and then just bounce it as far as it goes. And... Yeah! All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. That's... I mean, I'd rather be in rough than deep rough. All right, so this... Technically, deep rough should make it bounce less, right? So, let's say I do this. Or no. Let's say I do it a little closer. Just a little bit off. And the bounce should... Oh, wow! That actually puts us super close. I could, I could get a good shot here. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, just knock it in. Get that chip in birdie. Nice. Chip in birdie. Starting to learn how to use these clubs now. <sighs> okay, this is interesting. Um, I actually kind of want to pull it back and maybe go for a bunker. Uh-oh. Nice! Stuck the bunker and stayed. I feel like that would have bounced right out of the course otherwise, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, I'm going to try my best to just, just chip this in right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have not gotten one par. I got a bogey, but I have not gotten one par otherwise. I'll take that as an achievement. Uh, so far. Granted. So far. I'm hoping that maybe, maybe I can go parless. Potentially, you know, no more bogeys or further than that would be nice. Just use a mid-iron and take it easy on this hole. You see, if I... Jigger, Niblick, Spade, Mashy, Baffy, Spoon, <laughs> Play Club... They have some really, really creative naming here. Um, I mean, how's that? That's a perfect bouncy shot, is what that is. And we don't land in the bunker. We land in the fairway. Um, actually, I don't really know where. I'm probably going to end up in that puddle, but I'm actually kind of okay with that. I do have the puddle wedge, after all. Ooh, I slipped through. All right. I actually have a chance to putt this. That is a chip in eagle d. That is the second time. It is d twice. Twice. I am at minus seven. I mean... I'm feeling pretty good. I hope I hope that these guys are impressed with my play. Maybe they're not because I'm not I'm not actually following what they're saying to do. But listen, they gotta understand. I'm here to. I came to play. Oh no! Please go in the bunker. Okay, good, good. I was actually really scared that the wind was gonna take it, and it might have ended up somewhere. I did not want it to end up like the water. Um. Let's see, this is the second shot in a par four, and I think I might actually just be able to bounce it away. It's not gonna leave the bunker, you know, unscathed, but it rolls and it goes into a puddle, and I'm okay with that, because I could take my puddle wedge, try to chip this baby right in. Um, let's try to chip it in. Just 
try to chip it in right there. Ooh. That's in. <laughs> oh, that's a chip in birdie, my friends. My friends, that is a chip in birdie. We have one more hole left, and I am at minus eight. Pretty sure this is the best game of golf I've played in this game thus far. Thus far, I believe this is the best that I've done. Um, Let's aim for a solid bogey on this hole. No. No. No, not at all, actually. I, I don't... I don't think I want a bogey at all. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'd go for a hole-in-one, because that's just nutso. Ugh, part of me really, really wants to take that risk. I mean, it's foolish of me to do something like that. But then again, the temptation is there. No! What have I done? I've ruined everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, I double, I double hit the button by accident, and that really screwed me up. But that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna play the rest of this safe. Maybe I'll go for a par. Not a bogey. Please, not a bogey. Um, let's just bounce it over there. Or I could get a chip in Mega Birdie. What? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. What was this game? Dang. That is a success. If I have ever seen one, I am proud of that. Do I level up from that? No? All right, that's fine. I don't need to level up. It's, it's okay, but like... Dude. Good round. You still have much to learn, but course knowledge comes eventually. So, what should we do next? We won't be doing anything else today. Uh, why not? Delinquents on the course. We can't do a thing with them here. Oh. I knew I'd be embroiled on this sooner or later. I'll see if I can get rid of them. Eh, there's nothing that can be done. Glory has been telling them off all morning. Hasn't made any headway yet. I know them. Maybe I can work something out. All right. Well, let's at least go try to reason with them. Been waiting for you to show up. Want to play some lawn bowls? I don't have any bowls. Come on, thought you were one of the boys. You gotta get some. All blokes won't sell them to us. Where am I going to buy lawn bowls? In the pro shop? Oh no, not the pro shop. This guy doesn't stop talking ever. Please don't tell me these are the bowls. As a set of lawn balls. Oh. Yeah, it could be a pretty interesting game. Used to play in a team with the... Oh, get, no, no, we're not doing this. I, yep, I, okay. Listen. My goodness. We're gonna buy the lawn balls. I remember the horror that was this store. <laughs> All right. So we are going to take care of this lawn bowl business, but we're going to do it in the next chapter. So if you enjoyed today's shenanigans, please leave the video a like. It is much appreciated. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing. And more will be sent directly to you. And as always, I will see you guys next time.